In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down how you can absolutely glitch and torch cover two man in Madden 21 for an absolute laser um, from five wide. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. But what I also wanted to say was, um, if you are brand new, what my channel is about is Madden 21 tips and tricks videos. Basically, what we do is we try to give you guys the tools that you need to be effective on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. And we also share some special teams tips as well. So if you have not already clicked the subscribe button, I would highly encourage you to subscribe. And I would also ask you to join our community Discord. Discord is a great place for you to be able to connect with me and to connect with the rest of my Madden community. Because in YouTube, sometimes it's hard to talk back and forth, right? Um, sometimes if you know things can kind of get lost in the comments. With Discord, what that is, is it's basically an app where you can talk Madden 24-7. So if you have not already joined my Discord, I would highly encourage you to do that by clicking the link in the description of this video. Alright guys, uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be showing you a little bit of a sneak peek play out of my, air, uh, my um, comprehensive New England Patriots offensive ebook. Now, New England Patriots playbook has been one of the best playbooks in Madden as long as I have been playing Madden since was back in Madden 2011. And it is still one of the best, if not the best playbook in the game um, for both passing the ball and running the ball, having a lot of balance on your offense. And so what we're going to be breaking down today is one of my favorite formations from their playbook, which happens to be the Empty Ace Patriot. Okay. Now, what's really nice about this formation is it's a five wide but it's with ace personnel stock meaning that you, what you can do is basically if they come out in a dollar or a dime set you can always audible down and run the ball to your single back ace formations or you can go over to any of your other uh, formations as well within this ebook now the play we're going to be going over today really doesn't have to be a play um, it's more of a concept um, more than anything, but um, but we're going to show you essentially a, a play that you can use from this that is going to just absolutely destroy man-to-man uh, -man coverage, and that's going to be the empty stick, um, the empty stick. Now, it's just a concept, but really the reason we're calling this play is for this route that is the running back on the right side of the screen is on, and all we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we're on the left hash whenever we run this because we want the running back to be on the wide side of the field. It's going to give him the best spacing possible. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to simply motion the running back to the right. That's literally all we have to do uh, for this. And what you'll notice here is, whoops, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm sorry. We might have had a little bit of an issue on that motion to the running back from that wide side of the field. So I'm sorry. You do want to run this to the short side. I, I apologize for that. Um, that motion to the running back, you want to run this to the right hash, the short side of the field, because what's going to happen is when I motion him to the right, what you'll notice now is he should be right behind that. That's what we want right there. We want him to be right behind that tight end. And all we're going to, all that's going to happen here is it's going to create a simple man switch and you're going to be able to hit the running back over the top. Now, here's the deal. You do need to create some different routes and different things like that that can really um, specifically take advantage of this. So one of the things that you can do, because Gronkowski is on the on the line of scrimmage, I can basically um, put him on like a hitch or a flat because he's gonna. you, you want him to be on something that he's not going to get pressed on or that he's going to be able to take the press from. So something like a hitch um, would, be a, would be a good option. Also, you can still hit this route to Cam Brady. You're still going to have that. You're going to have your backside slants as well against man-to-man -man coverage. But the other thing that you're going to be able to do is let's say I take Gronk and I just put him on a simple flat route. Okay, Simple flat route combined with this route to uh, McCoy. And I'm just going to change him to a fade. And what you'll see here is, um, and I, must have, I might have to grab the other play that is in the guide. Let me grab the other play real quick. Um, for you, but that concept is going to work. It just sometimes you have to, you, you can't always do it from every round in the game. Sometimes you need specific routes. Um, and so, for whatever reason, the Packers defense is being kind of stubborn. Uh, but we'll show this to you out of here. Uh, again, this is Gun a Empty Ace Patriot, and we're going to go with the play Stick and Nod. Uh, I like Stick better, but you can use this play Stick and Nod. You see, you still get that wiggly fade. But all we're going to do, and now what you'll see, because Gronk is kind of giving a pivot move 
to the outside, it should give me a free release here. And you'll see Gronk's going to be wide open. Now, again, like I said, if they run dime or dollar sets, so like if they run dime or dollar sets, you can easily audible down and weak box them. You can easily uh, simply just go down and run the ball against something like that this year, especially because of the personnel, because of the personnel that you bring to the table with this specific formation. But now what I want to do is I want to show you what a lot of people are going to do. They're going to come out in something like a nickel 3 3 five because they're going to have to come out in some kind of nickel. If they don't come out in nickel, they're going to get weak boxed. So now what you'll see is against this, uh, this, this, uh, this route, the nickel man-to-man -man coverage, in my opinion, works a little bit better uh, for this. So again, just motion this guy to the right. And now because Gronk, there's nobody over the front of Gronk, he's going to take that press, and you're going to get this natural man switch because they can't press the tight end. In a nickel formation, you cannot press the tight end. And you'll notice that this will work out of multiple different nickels. Um, for example, if I were to run 3 through 5 wide, a lot of people are going to run 3 through 5 wide um, if they can't run dollar 3 through 6 or something like that. Well, look right here. Same scenario just happened. If I get a nickel formation, I'm going to beat press man to the outside instantly. So this play really does help you, um, you know, basically just torch that press man to man coverage. And what's really nice about it, again, it's just motioning McCoy to the right. It's the simplest thing in the world. If you put him on a fade, you'll see the fade actually might work a little bit better than that stock route that he's on because he doesn't waste any time kind of fading to the outside. As you see there, we're able to bomb cover two man press for a one play touchdown. Now, this is going to cause them to basically have to do something on that side of the field, um, you know, with their man coverage assignments, just change things. Um, and what that's going to lead to is, you know, it's going to lead to, you'll watch here, Gronk's route still beats man. When he cuts to the inside, he's still going to get open. So this is a really nice man, uh, man uh, play that I really, really like. Another thing you could do off of this is you could take Bray, because, again, he's going to be unbumpable as well, and just throw him on a whip route because he's unbumpable. If whip routes aren't pressed, it's very good against man-to-man -man coverage. On the back side, we're just going to run simply stick, right? A couple slants. Maybe we even take Godwin and put him on a flat. It, it really is up to you from that point because um, there's really nothing else vital to this play. The biggest thing is that you have that little stick and nod route. And you can do this from any – you'll see with the nickel uh, package, you can do this with pretty much anything. So, for example, if I take Gronk and I just put him on a flat route and take McCoy and put him on a fade, you'll see right here um, it didn't work quite the same, but my stick and nod route came open against that main-to-main -main coverage as well. So there's just a lot of really, really good routes um, in this. Now, if they shaded coverage over top and outside, which they probably will do that, uh, pretty much guarantee you they're going to do that, um, what you'll find with this formation is if I take Godwin and I just put him on a little, little hitch, because they're shading over top, I can hit that hitch against man coverage very easily. So you have check down reads as well, even in the midst of a really, really good route uh, combination. But basically all you're trying to do is you're trying to get this stack. And if you see press man coverage like this, just take McCoy, throw him on a fade, and uh, oftentimes you'll be roasting that thing for, uh, for six. And if you don't, you can easily check down to uh, Gronkowski. But uh, all in all, guys, this has been one of my favorite um, – favorite five wides that I've come across in this game. I just think it has a lot of different things that it can do for you. Um, this little man switch I think is just absolutely insane, um, especially because a lot of people, what I see a lot of people do is they'll go to something like this. They'll go to nickel 335 wide Mike Blitz O, and they'll blitz the crap out of you, right? They'll come down, they'll press you, and they're going to do everything they can to get you out of your play. If you go to something like this, and this is just, they're going to press coverage, you know, they're going to try to get get stop these quick reads. Well, look at this. It's an instant – it's basically an instant touchdown. At the snap of the ball, if they if they don't run with McCoy, like if they don't run with McCoy here, watch this real quick. This is press coverage, right? This is press coverage. This is mid-blitz, right? Mid-blitz is basically the same concept. And what you'll notice here, if they run press coverage on you, just snap, throw the ball, and they'll stop blitz, and I guarantee it. So – this is how you beat press man blitz. Any press man really uh, from a nickel set. This thing just absolutely torches it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, guys, this ebook is insane. We're going to have four volumes of it. Volume one's coming out tonight. Um, obviously, once you buy volume one, you'll be able to get all the other ones. It's the whole guide. But um, the ebook is so big, we actually had to do four installments of it. Um, literally, we ran out of room in our computer to be even able to file it. 
And so uh, what that means, like I said, it's going to be over 300 pages of material. And uh, we're going to teach you all, all sorts of stuff. We're going to start primarily with the X's and O's and the pocket present stuff. And then we're going to work toward uh, some other stuff as well. We've got a lot of gameplay in here, so you can really break it down and understand why I'm doing what I'm doing in a game. But this is a very comprehensive ebook and something that I think truly is going to take your offense to the next level. So if you want to know whenever that goes live tonight, just shoot me a text message and I can send you the link to the ebook um, so that you can pick it up. My number is 812. 216-3644. Our next Madden 21 video is going to go live tonight at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And then we'll have another one at 8 o'clock. And then we'll be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock. And so the best way to stay up to date is just to shoot me a text message and just let me know uh, what's up and I can shoot you the links to everything. Thank you so much for your time. Again, my number is 812-216-3644. And we'll see you in a little bit.